you're happy now Hope you're happy now I wish I could bank on us, on us You can get none, bye bye, run baby, bye up so early today i think for this week i'm going to attempt to get up at about 4 30 ish to get ready to go to the gym because this is my attempt to get my life together i really i haven't been in a noticeable slump like i haven't been like just lounging around and stuff like that a little bit but i feel like i've been in a slump so i'm trying to take this week to kind of take my life back take my time back trying to get into a routine and just get my body conditioned to get back into the swing of things basically because this was the first time today i went to the gym in about a month i want to say and i keep taking little hiatuses like that and i'm really trying my hardest to stay consistent but it's it's hard it's so hard so i'm thinking tomorrow what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get up and go to the gym with trey this time he goes to gym on post i go to gym off post but i'm gonna go to the gym with him in the morning let me open this door and let them out i'm gonna go outside because y'all looking pathetic y'all looking real pathetic look at them couldn't wait <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just trying to get into a good routine. I'm trying to get ready for the day as well. I already took a shower and stuff like that. So, yeah, I stopped at um, Chick-fil-A this morning for breakfast and I got my yeast rolls with honey butter. Trey calls it bread. It's bread, but we gonna use the fancy term. It's yeast rolls with honey butter. That's what I got for breakfast this morning, but I want a little bit more. So I'm thinking I'm about to make me some eggs real quick. Yeah, because there's other things that I have to do and I have to make a list, y'all. Last night I was up literally making a list. I'm noticing that I have to have a to-do list. Like every night I make a to-do list for the next day. And I think I'm gonna start making a habit of that just to kind of give myself just a few, just a little list. I have a list here of things that I want to get done today. I have the task, I have um, 
a little like there's even little quotations on like little details in the test like clean fridge i'm cleaning the fridge today cool i'm um, actually i'm about to start doing that in a little bit but um i have certain deadlines i'm like okay so be done with this much of this list by this time this is a hard stopping point so things like that has been really helping me um be a little bit more productive stay a little bit on task and not feel so overwhelmed with with everything else that i have to do in a day so this has been working for me so yeah i have my list so as far as what i need to start with for this morning all the things that i want to have done by one o'clock is cleaning out the fridge i have to make a shopping list because i do need to grab some groceries we desperately need some groceries i need to check the mailbox and i need to finish filming my back to school video oh i'm about to go ahead and shut this down because i need to clean this fridge because if i'm about to be putting new groceries in the fridge the fridge needs to be clean and i feel like i spilled some wine in there so yeah y'all what's up welcome back it's like a few hours later maybe like a two wait let me see hello time about two hours later uh almost three hours later recap i ended up cleaning out the refrigerator i cleaned the house a little bit because one thing about it i feel like one of the things i bought from childhood was making sure the house and the refrigerator is clean when you know you're about to get a decent amount of groceries i don't know why it is but my grandma she would always have us do that when we know we're about to grocery shopping for the month or we're about to get a decent amount of groceries when we're about to cook and have leftovers anything she wants that refrigerator deep cleaned and she want the house clean and one thing about it when i know the refrigerator is full i got snacks in the snack cabinet and my house is clean and the majority of the stuff that i have to do for the day is done oh this is a good day it's a good day i feel accomplished how bad y'all i had to close this moon roof because it was getting a little toasty in here and my lips are so dry i feel like i've been in this grocery store for so long hold on anyway i also just left the commissary just grabbing a few things like some fruit just restocking on a few things i didn't get as much as i would mm, i think i got enough like i didn't i didn't this wasn't like a big shopping like grocery shopping trip where i'm like trying to fill up the whole entire fridge and the cabinets and stuff like that but i got a decent amount of stuff it wasn't even a full cart i know i'm not the only one to do this so let me know if anybody else does this but i would rather go through the self-checkout line even if i have a cart full of stuff and there's some places that you can't go through self-checkout if you have way too many things or they have like specific lines and stuff like that well as far as i'm concerned at the commissary they don't have that i would rather go through self-checkout and check out all of my stuff myself and bag up all of my stuff myself than to go through the actual line and have somebody do it for me just to avoid the awkward you know socializing the awkward interaction that i will have to have with the other individual on the other side of the register i don't have an issue with um cashiers or anything like that i am just a awkward person i'm gonna start saying stuff i'm gonna start oversharing. i'm gonna start like staring at you and then because i'm so aware that i can be such a weird and awkward person when i'm getting anxious i'm gonna start to try to try to not be weird and end up coming off even weirder it's to the point I have to try to think about how to be normal like okay play it cool okay now grab the card and i'm like you can tell i'm intently thinking about my actions and what i'm doing it's just real bad it's just real bad and so to avoid these things i rather go through self-checkout and check myself out oh and let's not mention like I don't know if it's anywhere else, but I'm not familiar with the lines in the commissary because again, I always check myself out. So there's certain lines that you get in and like the people, they take your bags out to the car for you for a tip. 
I don't need you to do that. I, it's like, it's because when that happens to me, it's extending that awkward interaction that I am forced to be in because I decided I wanted to be lazy and have somebody else bag my groceries for me. I hate that so much. So, because it's so funny. I should not be like this. I am my big age. I should not be like this. But I'm telling you, I get really, really awkward and I feel dumb. Even when I'm walking through the store, my legs stop working a little bit because I'm like, is somebody watching me? It's weird. Anyway, as I'm minding my business, checking out, and I was already so anxious because I forgot my freaking headphones in my workout bag. It was just bad. So I'm checking out and the guy that is working in the area, don't get me wrong, he wasn't rude or anything like that, but he comes over and he kept opening the bags for me. And I was like, like, do he think I'm struggling or what, what's, what's going on? Why does he keep opening the bags? And that's just me overthinking though, y'all. That's just me overthinking because he's doing that for everybody. Thing is, I don't need, it's like three rows of bags that you can use. So he's coming over and he's keep opening the bags for me and he's making me feel obligated to use the bags that he's opening when I'm used to just using that one bag in the first row because I don't have to walk down. I mean, I'm sure I don't have to walk down to try to fill the other bags. But now that he's doing that, I feel like I have to or he's going to be looking at me like, oh, I'm trying to be nice. I hope you and open this bag and you're not even using it. Y'all, again, this is just me overthinking. Nobody is telling me this or putting this pressure on me but myself. Anyway. So then he comes over and he goes, he goes, um, he goes, why would you come to self-checkout? And I was like, instantly, without even asking questions, I'm in my head like, am I, am I not supposed to be in self-checkout? Like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't be over here. He's like, no, you can. He's like, you just have a lot of stuff and I don't understand, like, you could have had somebody do this for you here I go over share because I'm like well actually you know I just I don't want to because then I'm going to be forced to like talk to somebody and then I end up like staring at you really awkward so like I come to self checkout to avoid like these awkward little small conversations with people being so not self-aware because then he walks out he oh okay and then he walks out and then he comes back and he goes was I, did I bother you? Like, I like I know you don't wanna have these small awkward conversations, but I didn't bother you. I felt so bad, cause he probably walked off like, oh, this bitch is throwing hints, like, get out my face type of thing. And I was like, oh no, I didn't, I didn't mean you. I, I'm like, you see what I mean? <laughs> so it was just so funny. I felt so awkward. Like he made it, like I felt like my knees were shaking and wobbling. Oh my God, he just made it so awkward. And he was just trying to give, ups outstanding top notch upwards most customer service and i ruined it because <laughs> i'm dumb but yeah that was just my very awkward um encounter in the commissary because i don't have no sense i guess but anyway <laughs> anyway i'm on my way home so i can go ahead and put these groceries and stuff away just in the nick of time because on my to-do list my cutoff time to be at this point on my to-do list was one o'clock y'all it is 12 51 and i'm literally down the street from the house so i'm about to hurry up and get there have trey help me bring these bags inside put everything away because we're gonna hit the road and head off to his appointment i believe it's for his back um it's so much going on with my baby right now <laughs> that poor man anyway um yeah we about to get ready to hop on the road so i can so we can go to his appointment and i'm gonna talk to y'all later i don't know what i'm gonna be talking to y'all about because this vlog is coming to an end soon but i'm gonna talk to y'all later time to go to trey's appointment me and big daddy's car we ain't made it we in a truck y'all look at him think he fancy let's look at them Dang, all this space. He all the way over there. I can't even. Yeah, don't touch me. Uh, how, how, am I, how am I supposed to? <laughs> y'all, what's up? It's a little bit later. It's so much later. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Y'all, when I say I'm so exhausted, like I'm actually exhausted. Like usually it's a, I just got home. I had a lot going on and I just need to lay down exhausted. But no, I need a nap. I need a nap. And it's like five something. Yeah five something y'all it's 6 21 and i'm talking about i need a nap me and trey just got back from his appointment and i will say i am so excited i am i'm hopeful 
it sounds like we got good news. It's looking like it's going in the direction I wanted to go in and I'm so excited about that. Other than that, yeah, we're back home and everything. Um, just freshened up a little bit. Now I'm just sitting in bed and y'all, when I say I'm about to be done, I'm about to, this is where I'm about to be for the rest of the night. This, I'm, I'm sitting in bed for the rest of the night. I am so tired. I was going to make some salmon for dinner, but Trey said he is in a mood for pizza. I have this. Some common series sushi, some salmon. That's, that's all salmon with some eel sauce over here. And then I got me some jelly donuts because I just really, really wanted some donuts with some jelly in it. Do not ask me why, but I needed donuts with some jelly in it. That's pretty much it for today. I think I'm going to go ahead and put y'all down for the day. And I'm going to pick y'all up in the morning when me and Trey are on our way to the gym because I'm going to the gym with Trey in the morning. I feel like I'm about to be so tired. I'm to be so tired. He goes to gym on post and he gets up at about 4.30 to go to the gym. And I'm trying to go to the gym. I'm trying to wake up early every day this week and go to the gym and just be more productive, get a little bit more done, condition my body, condition my mind, get, just get back into the healthy routine I was once in, once upon a time ago. But that's it. That's enough rambling. I'm about to go ahead and watch a story time i think odst just uploaded well she didn't just upload but i see that she uploaded a video i haven't watched yet so i'm about to go ahead and watch that eat my sushi and just chill out for the rest of the day you say nothing's wrong at all baby i say that we fall in off baby Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm down by it In your heart you keep trying but The truth is I hide That's just the way we are But can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new it won't be like that To everybody else it will just hold me back but I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to doubt this fear yeah. We just leaving the gym Trey should be coming back from his formation any moment now There he is <laughs> And um, um, yeah, I'm gonna stick to my off post gym. I tried the on post gym. I don't like it. I tried though. What you need to complain about? Oh, I told them that I tried the on post gym. Oh, man, it wasn't a good day. <laughs> it, it's not even that. Like the weights, there's like no in between. It went from 40 to 55, from 55 to 70. And I'm like, what is this? What is, what is this? Oh, I looked at it right. I stared at it for a little bit. I'm like, okay, so I'm not tripping. I guess somebody had them. They definitely got like, like the pool, like the. Oh, it's on my desk. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm. It goes, it's a little weird. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at that too. It goes from like 55 to like 62. Crazy. What do I want to eat? Is this a radio? What the heck? Yeah, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> I think I want eggs, though. I for sure want eggs. I definitely want eggs. Ooh, the whole shebang. The whole I want this thing right here, little rack jump, but I need it to like the middle part isn't on the truck because my thing goes up. Yeah. I'm like, dang, I need that. Eggs, sausages, and pancakes. Lots of barbecue outside. Uh, yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? It's 12:40 in the afternoon, and tell me why I took a three-hour nap. Tell, oh my goodness, when I say your girl was tired, oh my goodness, like. I was knocked out on a couch. I ended up coming home. We got in the shower, made me some eggs and some sausages. I made Trey some pancakes, eggs and sausages, and I was out. I was out. I, I was, that's it. I woke up at like maybe about 40 minutes ago. I'm so glad I did not have any plans or like anything I needed to do today because your girl was out. But it's only 12. It's only about to be one o'clock. So, <clears throat> and Trey just texted me. So what I'm doing right now is I am organizing all of my school stuff and my clinical stuff. So, well, I'm not really organizing it. I'm just putting everything into my clinical bag and into my backpack over here. So that's what I'm doing now since I was able to finish 
filming my student supply new student shopping haul supply blah blah blah. i don't know what i'm going to name it so but i finished filming that so now that that's finally out of the way i can go ahead and get this stuff organized and out of the way i so badly more than anything want a freaking latte a uh, chai latte but the irritating part is i need my syrup i have this syrup that i use i feel like i showed y'all but there's the the gingerbread syrup that I use. I ordered a few of the bottles on Amazon and never came and said it was delivered at the mailbox, which I should have known something was suspicious then because how did you fit that big bottle into a mailbox, into the small mailbox that I have anyway. So I should have known something was up with that, but they finally today, finally, because they said it was delivered Friday, it wasn't. I tried calling Saturday, Friday and Saturday. They said, wait, I tried calling yesterday. They said, oh no, wait. So I called again today like, no, I'm not waiting. Give me a refund. Give me a refund or send me something else out. But it finally gave me a refund. I'm waiting for that to hit my Amazon account and I'm gonna try to reorder it again with new instructions to just drop it off at the front door. That way, if you try to say it's delivered, there should be a picture with it. Like I'm, I'm gonna know it was delivered or whatever. So I don't know. anyway, but I'm about to go ahead and go. I think I'm about to just go ahead and finish putting all this stuff away. So the only other thing that I have to do today is test out this little, so Trey bought Sam this little litter, litter, it's a litter robot. Yeah, it's like a litter robot. You know what, let me go downstairs and show y'all cause I wanna check the mailbox anyway. This thing, an electric litter box, and look how big this box is. I don't think the thing in here is that big, but this is a big box. So I'm gonna be setting that up. Which one is that? I don't know, it just says carpet home. This is probably the brand I'm gonna assume. But he also bought this Ultra Kitty Litter for the thing. So yeah, I gotta hook that all together. I guess it also has like an app and stuff that you can use with it. So hopefully this works for her. I don't know, oh, he also bought the bags for the litter as well, for the litter box as well as this little transfer mat. But the thing is, I don't know where I want to put it because I'm not going to show y'all her litter box because it's probably gross right now. But we keep her litter box right now in this downstairs bathroom. Ugh, see, it's not that bad, but you see she got a little there. But this is where we keep her litter box right now. So pathetic. And honestly, I wanted to get like this little, the little box thing that you put. It's like a cabinet almost to hide the litter box. I was gonna get one of those and kind of shove it in there, it, it, shove it in there and have that be her space. But Trey wants to actually have that utilized, which I mean we could, we could, but he wants to use the space in the closet as well. Cause like I said, we have a decent amount of storage in here, but it's it's still small, I guess. So the issue is now we don't know where we want the litter box. Honestly, I'm th I was thinking we put it over in this corner. Well, before we got this big old box, I was thinking we put it in the corner here. And because she's always behind this mirror here, we can kind of set the mirror up over there to kind of cover it up. That way she can still be able to get in and out. And it's kind of hidden from the world because this little box won't just be sitting out here. But judging by this box, I feel like it's going to be too big for that, right? Don't like. Do it look like it'll be too big to fit behind a mirror? I don't know, I'm gonna try it out anyway, just to see. Just put it over here in this corner. I feel like it's gonna kind of be like in the mirror. I'm gonna figure it out. All I know is I gotta set it up today, so. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and go and check the mailbox real quick, go finish organizing my bags, and then go find me something to eat and sit around and chill for a little bit. I feel like I'm being a nosy neighbor right now. I feel like I'm low-key just making sure nobody's out here. I hate talking to people. Hey y'all, what's up? We in a car because I got bored. I got so bored. I finished packing my stuff for the most part. I still feel like I need to make it, like make it make sense. I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff. Like I don't have a lot of stuff to have like, like my backpack is empty basically. So I'm like, should I just get like a smaller backpack? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm outside because I'm about to, well one, I just needed to be outside for a second by my ID. And two, I wanna go and grab um, a drink from Starbucks. And then I'm thinking I'ma stop across the street to the little USPS Annex and see, do a little bit more investigating on this whole, 
um, delivery with my freaking Starbucks syrup because y'all I don't understand like I need this drink like I need like I, I don't understand why my syrup is not delivered I'm literally sitting there on Google and stuff like that looking for like more places I can get this specific syrup from and I found someone selling it on eBay so I just purchased that and it's supposed to be here between the 24th this is so stupid. It should not be this deep. It's not this deep. But it's supposed to be here between the 24th and the 28th. So please, fingers crossed, y'all. Please, just, just hope I get this, sir. Because I need it. Like, I have so many chai teas that I can't drink because I need this syrup to drink it. Obviously, I've been drinking this chai tea for years now. And I, I can do without. But now that I've had it with this syrup, it don't hit the same. And I need my syrup. So I'm about to go and check and figure out why. I, they reported that my syrup was delivered when indeed it was not and I'm also trying to figure out how in the world did they deliver it to the mailbox if the mailbox is so small and this is a liter like a big it's supposed to be a big thing so how did I don't know so um yeah I'm about to go across the street and just ask them and see if there was some type of mistake maybe they stuck it in the wrong place something so yeah Y'all, I'm okay. First, <laughs> okay, let me go home because the people from the U. <laughs> I'm so happy. The people from the USPS Annex just called and said, "Hey, the manager said he was able to find your package and he's gonna go and deliver it right now." Oh wait, is my car not started? Oh, I need to start it. He's like the what he say? He's she said the manager said he was able to find your package and he's heading over there right now to deliver it on your porch. So don't be alarmed. Don't be scared if you see somebody on your porch. I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm telling y'all. I know this. Y'all probably won't even like it if y'all were to try it. But it's literally it's like you're drinking a gingerbread cookie the best perfectly made gingerbread cookie and it's just so sweet it's just so smooth and it's so refreshing especially when you put a bunch of ice in it and it's so cold it's like oh that's what i'm about to eat i'm about to go home right now i'm not about to get no drinks i'm about to go home make me some eggs and make this drink and just chill and watch reruns of rick and morty because oh my god i'm so happy <sighs> I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going to have so many extra like bottles because again, I just ordered those two from Amazon and uh, not Amazon, eBay, an uh, extra two from eBay because I found somebody selling the liter bottles um, two, a set of two for $19. Obviously I had to jump on that because that is a deal, okay? And hold on y'all, I gotta get through the gate. You just, you just the last day was. Thank you too. So I got the ones from eBay because that was a steal. I had to get that. So when I originally ordered the one that I'm waiting for right now that I went and asked about, it said it was delivered on Friday. And so when it said it was delivered to the mailbox on Friday, I was still like out and about doing things. So before I even checked the mailbox and realized it wasn't there, I had ordered two more. <laughs> I ordered two more because, why did I order two? Because I wanted backup, I just wanted extras. When I realized all of this was happening with this one, I'm like, ain't no way, they probably scamming me, talking about it was delivered and it was never delivered. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, so that means the other two probably ain't gonna get delivered either. So I ended up, panicking trying to hurry up because I want the syrup so bad I went to eBay and ordered two more so that means I have four bottles coming four extra bottles coming from places so yeah I just need to sit still and just chill out sometimes because why I mean I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at it when I say I'll I would literally throw every other syrup that I have away because I don't need it that's how I feel right now I don't need it because this one is just perfect it's just perfect it's perfect yeah you skate playing with his ball you got a ball <laughs> i don't want to play with you right now goofy into who hold on y'all let me set y'all up real quick because let me tell you let me, let, me, let me show y'all how thirsty i was so when that lady called me and she said that they found my syrup not only did they have well not only did they find my syrup 
but I checked Walmart and they actually had the version of this chai tea that I actually prefer and love and like so much, which is this one, but with the spice. I love the one, this one specifically with the spice. The ones that I have here, I have, I have a bunch, one, two, oh, well, I only have four of these too, but this is the original. The original is really good too, but I prefer the one with the spice. So these are two. So I am about to, you know what? I'm gonna use the originals first. Put these away. I, yeah, I bought four of them. I'm telling you, like I am, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. When I say I found a drink that I like that I'm obsessed with right now. Mm -mm. Mm. And look here, I'm probably getting a little too excited because let me open this and actually see if it's the right thing. Okay, so this is the syrup that I've been raving about, that I've been absolutely obsessed with. This gingerbread Starbucks syrup, like it's the one that they use at Starbucks. Okay, let me make my drink. Where's my cup? I need a cup. All right, let's go ahead and make my drink real quick. First, I need a handful of ice. So a handful of ice, and then I also use this vanilla syrup as well. And I don't, the vanilla syrup isn't important. That's why I never rave about that. I, it just needs to be a vanilla syrup. And I put a little bit of that in there like that. Like so. Then for the guests of honor here. Mm -mm -mm. Like this stuff. Oh my goodness. It looks like a lot, but don't do me. That much on top of the syrup. Get to shake this up. Pop that bad boy open. And I usually feel. It's about there. And then you want to get some half and half and then fill that up the rest of the way. Like that. And that is my drink in this. I haven't had it in like weeks. It's so good. It's so good. It's just so good. Uh. <sighs> so good. Okay, so now that I finally got my fix, I'm about to go ahead and make my um, eggs. Do I just want eggs or do I want sausages and eggs? It's kind of late in the day and all I had was at breakfast earlier. So I'm thinking I'm going to make me some sausages and eggs. What is he out there looking at? Let me make my food and go see what this dog talking about. I had to take a little break from editing, right? Let me show y'all, y'all, my hair look a mess. Let me show y'all this massive kitty litter box. So obviously, remember I was showing y'all the box that it came in? I'm like, oh, it might not be that big. No, this thing is huge. For size reference, it's huge. Where are we gonna put this? <laughs> All right, y'all, the finished product. It was so frustrating putting this together, I won't lie. Like it already came pre-assembled, but setting it up because the directions are so lacking. There was no point in sending this paper out. <laughs> It's not like in its official state because I haven't like actually styled it or anything. So it actually not look so much like a litter box. Like this little thing here needs to like lay flat first and all that. So I'll let you guys know how Sam likes it. Ew. Now that I'm done with that, I'm about to go ahead and start cooking because I really want to try this salmon. I don't know what seasoning or anything I want to put on it. I just know I want to make salmon and potatoes. So I'm about to do that. God, you call me by my name. The love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. 
No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone told Hey, my battle phase, someone. welcome to Wednesday afternoon Because it's like 1 o'clock on Wednesday Um, Just to catch y'all up in the day I got up not as early as I should have Um, I was trying to get up at 4.30 every day this week Y'all, I got up at 8 o'clock and I went to the gym around that time did some returns, came back, did some laundry, <gasps> leak it, and now I'm about to go to Riley with my friends. Y'all, look, first of all, first of oh all, my God. look, look, yeah, so no. <laughs> girl, first of all, I'm about to go to Riley with Kiara. Did you have to pee or anything? Yeah. That was a 30 minute drive. I didn't think I was gonna make it. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, where is this child at? I'm over here doing laundry and all that. All right, hold on, because I'm trying to put y'all in a car. Okay, there we go. All right, it is so hot in here. I just turned the air on. I should have been running this car and turned, should have been turned the air on in this car. Anywho, I'm waiting for Kiara. She's going to get her stuff right now. And we're about to go to Riley and see what Riley's talking about. Y'all, I'm excited because I've been wanting to do something on this list. Me and Trey have a shared, um, where's my phone? This is my purse for today, Aldo. So cute. Um, me and Trey been wanting to try some of these places that's on this little shared, shared thing that we have on IG. Oh, there it is. So we have all these little things. It's so much stuff in there, but it's a I bunch of a lot. stuff from Riley in there. Like it's just all over North Carolina that we want to start trying. Did you eat? No. Okay, we can try. You can go there first. Okay. This was the latest place that we put in here. It's a French inspired village in North Carolina. I'm done. And Riley. So let's head that way. All right, y'all, let's get on the road. Let's go. We're about to do something fun. I should have grabbed food too. You should have. It's been a minute. Did you eat breakfast? I ate because I went to the gym this morning. I had to run and run around and do stuff. I had like four hash browns this morning for breakfast. You and these hash browns. I had to take a nap. <laughs> I had to. I was doing laundry. Like I was just doing stuff. Let me see. Um, I might stop at the Dunkin' Donuts and grab a matcha real quick. It's right next door. All right, so we made it out to Riley with not a plan in sight. So I'm about to get on. IG and look at all these little places out of North Carolina and see if we can find something to do. I know Kiara mentioned she wanted to go shopping, so we're gonna see about that. And there she is with the belly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is the first place that I showed you. I feel like it's a bunch of places that you saved in Riley. We have some dog uh, bars, but they're like also have dog play areas and I they're so cool. I wanted to take Bluey. What do they have around the corner here? Wanna walk? Yeah, we're gonna walk guys because we don't know. And it's not like she can have drinks, so who said? <laughs> we said. So we're about to go ahead and enjoy this little outside area. We're gonna see y'all later when we actually figure out what we wanna do. Now listen. 
and daughter Pay attention, pray and listen Hear your father Was it the car ride? Yeah Kiara's yeah. nauseous It's the car ride <laughs> Y'all, we're at What was this called? Le Lafayette Village And it's supposed to be a French-inspired shopping center Out in Riley And it's already so cute As soon as I pulled in, I was like, oh my god it's so cute. So I'm excited. I'm actually hoping I find like something super cold to drink here. Like a nice slushy drink, maybe. Maybe in the crack kitchen. I want something sweet to eat. I would like. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're about to do. We're about to go look for something sweet to eat in this cute little town inspired shopping center. Lies they told are so familiar. They will haunt you. They will kill you. Keep your hostage, King will heal you before him. Adore him, he will give you everything. Come and take your Can't keep going, going back to what I used to know. Hey y'all, what's up? It's the next day after coming back from Riley with my friend. Okay, first of all, she told me that it's pronounced Raleigh and I've been saying Riley this whole time. I feel like I'm still gonna be slipping up saying Riley and not Raleigh, Ra Raleigh, 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 North Carolina. Am I saying that right? I'm actually heading to put some gas in my car real quick because I got the notification that my other scrubs for school as well as my jackets that I had to get embroidered, my jacket and my coat that I had to get embroidered with the school's name and stuff on it is ready. So that means your girl gotta drive out two hours again to go and pick that stuff up. And because it's a holiday Monday, I just, I'll go get it now. Like I'll get it tomorrow. Cause they open at nine o'clock. So I wanna go ahead and um, go put some gas in a car now. That way I'm not having to stop and do that stuff early in the morning. So yeah. Yeah, all that stuff is ready. I'm actually hoping that the school is gonna be open so I'm able to do my little name change as well as get my student ID. That way, the only thing that I have to wait for is to get my tuition paid and the first day of school. Everything else will be done if I can go ahead and get my ID tomorrow. So hopefully that goes well. But that's about it, honestly, for this vlog. I was coming back on to close this down and to thank you guys for watching i've gotten so many new subscribers and i just wanted to welcome you guys to my channel to the family to my somewhat entertaining life i feel like my life is pretty i do things i'm a regular person i'm a wife i have kids i'm in my 30s now so yeah i feel like i do i do okay i'm now retired from the military so i'm about to have a, i already have way more free time on my hand then I know what to do with so that's been another thing that I've been dealing with but yeah I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and the support that you guys guys have been giving me has been absolutely amazing if you haven't already um go ahead and subscribe I have a goal to hit 10k subscribers by the end of the year and I feel like with you guys just hope I can reach that goal so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye